Well, this review definitely didn't turn out the way I thought it would. Why in the world would a company send me a review sample that's already infected with a virus? This can't be for real. I'm sorry, but you know what? Stay tuned. <laughs> Have you ever heard of something affecting some people and think, ah, there's no way that could happen to me? Yeah, I've thought that many times too. Unfortunately, sometimes it does happen to you, just like it did to me. That's right, I got a review sample of a mini PC that was infected right out of the box. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. But first, I gotta pay some bills. So check out today's sponsor. Is your copy of Windows 10 unactivated? Well, it doesn't have to be because with today's sponsor, VIP SCD Key, you can get a valid Windows 10 license for under $20. Stop dealing with that stupid watermark on the desktop, the valid license for Windows 10. Also, with an activated copy of Windows 10, you can upgrade to Windows 11 for free. Just go to the link in the description below and pick up a valid Windows 10 license key. During checkout, use the code CYBERCPU for a 25% discount. Once you have your key, go to your activation settings in Windows 10 and click on the link that says Change Product Key. Enter the product key you just purchased and hit Activate. Now you don't have to deal with that stupid watermark that come with running an unactivated copy of Windows 10. Now, on with the video. Quite a while ago, I decided that I wasn't gonna do reviews on these little Chinese mini PCs anymore. Not because they weren't good products, some of them were actually decent PCs, and they're relatively affordable. In fact, I absolutely stand by my reviews I've done in the past. Ultimately, the reason I wasn't going to review them anymore was because the reviews take hours of testing, filming, and research, and they're the least viewed videos on my channel. So, I kind of made the decision based on you guys that these aren't the kinds of videos that you want to see. However, that wasn't until a couple of weeks ago when Ace Magic emailed me and asked me if I wanted to review their new Intel Core Ultra Mini PC. I had just finished filming my video on Windows 11 24H2, and in that video I talked about the new AI features coming to Windows 11. Unfortunately, like I stated in that video, a lot of these AI features require an MPU, or a neural processing unit. I don't think I mentioned this in that video, but in the back of my mind I was thinking that I'm probably going to have to find something that has a neural processing unit so that I can cover these features in Windows 11. And then, lo and behold, like two days later, I get an email from a company offering to send me an Intel Core Ultra mini PC with an MPU. So logically, I said, yeah. I mean, this would be a perfect system to cover the Windows 11 AI features for the channel. And contrary to popular belief, I'm not some rich tech YouTuber that can afford to throw money at a new system for a single video. So I figured, sure, I'll do a review that'll probably get virtually no views, but then I'll have a system that I can use later on to cover the topic that I know my viewers actually are interested in. I guess you could say I was kind of taking one for the team so I could bring you guys some content. So as soon as I got the system in, I sat down and started doing the same thing I do in every review. I hooked the system up, turn it on, and start taking notes. While it's running Windows Update, I do research on the system to see what other reviewers thought and what their positive and negatives were so that I could, you know, use that later on to see if the manufacturer maybe has changed something since those reviews or if those problems were still an issue. However, when I searched YouTube for Ace Magic, I got bombarded with videos about these systems being infected with viruses. So, logically, I started watching the videos. And it looks like, I might be wrong here, but it looks like what happened was that Ace Magic, in an effort to improve user experience, made measures in modifying the Windows installer to bypass the Microsoft account requirements in Windows 11. In fact, on a side note, that feature was literally in my notes before I had even heard about the virus issues. Unfortunately though, whatever solution they found to bypass the Microsoft account requirements contained malware. So, knowing that the Windows installer went straight to the local account and didn't even ask me for a Microsoft account, I started poking around the system a little bit. Many of the videos and articles related to this topic identified specific file paths where these infected files were located, so I followed the paths and I found the same files. I uploaded these files to VirusTotal.com and, sure enough, they were infected. 
Luckily though, I found this before any personal data was put on the system. I hadn't even loaded Steam yet. Essentially, all I had done was hooked it up, logged into Windows, installed Chrome, and was halfway through running Windows Update. And you know what? Here's the part that disappoints me though, and what ultimately led me to make this video. On Ace Magic's website is an article dated February 2024 where they acknowledge that they had a problem. They completely fessed up to the issue and they even updated the article in March talking about the steps that they had taken to avoid this issue from happening in the future. They emailed me at the end of March asking me if I wanted to review this PC. I didn't get back to them until halfway through April and I didn't receive this PC until the end of April. So even though they acknowledged that they had a problem and they even updated their acknowledgement to show that they were doing to fix this, they still sent a YouTuber an infected machine. What's worse is that according to the about page in Windows 11, the system was loaded on March 5th of 2024. That was two weeks after they published their article that they had a problem. And you know what? Maybe this system just slipped through the cracks, but didn't anyone think that maybe it would be a good idea to at least do a little extra scrutiny to a system that they're sending out for review? If nothing else, to avoid the bad press, which this obviously is. And you know what? I'm not even saying that companies should treat YouTubers differently. That's not my argument at all. But if they won't even take the time to guarantee that a review unit going to a YouTuber isn't infected, then what chances do regular customers have in getting a clean system? I know, you know what? Maybe they don't think I'm important enough to matter and they would just, that I would just do a review anyway. Well, I won't. I'm not going to review this system. I'm also never going to do a review for Ace Magic again. At this point, I don't think they'd ask me to anyway. Because you know what? I'm not a shill and I don't care about getting products for review. Like I said earlier, I stopped doing these reviews anyway because it just wasn't worth my time and work involved for these videos that no one wants to watch anyway. The only reason I accepted this review was so that I could bring you guys content related to Windows 11 AI features. And you know what? I'm still going to do that. This system has already been wiped and reloaded with Windows 11, and it'll be a great little test system for MPU related features in the future. However, this just reinforces my original decision to not do reviews on these mini PCs. It's unfortunate too because, you know, Geekcom mini PCs that I have reviewed in the past have turned out to be decent little Nook clones. The other problem is, is I really like this form factor. These systems are really great. In fact, the system specs on this one are amazing, even though it's kind of a little overpriced. So you know what, it's kind of a conundrum for me. I wanna say that I don't plan to ever review these mini PCs again, but things might change in the future. We will just have to wait and see what happens. One thing's for sure though, if I ever do a review of a mini PC again, it will start with an extremely thorough virus check. But you know what? I don't blame Ace Magic entirely. I mean, you know what? Honestly, though, the fact that they're still sending these infected machines out is totally on them. I mean, they need to clean this crap up. I don't care what it takes. Ultimately, they need to take care of their customers. This is a dangerous situation, and it could lead to a lot of problems for a lot of people that purchase these PCs. At this point, it should warrant a full-on recall of these systems. And honestly, that's the reason why I'm not gonna do a review on it, because I don't wanna recommend it to people for that reason. I mean, this isn't just a system with a bad stick of RAM or a hard drive that fails early. This is malware that could steal people's identities. However, like I said, I don't blame Ace Magic entirely for the original problem. Yes, they do share in the blame, but Microsoft does also. The entire reason why they attempted to modify the Windows 11 installer to skip the Microsoft account requirements was to improve their user experience for their customers. <laughs> customers that unfortunately now have to worry about getting their identity stolen. But you know what? If Microsoft didn't require people to create a Microsoft account, there would have been no need to modify the Windows installer in the first place. So, in the end, Microsoft shares in the blame for this taking place, but the fact that it still continues is 100% Ace Magic's fault. They have no one to blame but themselves. Because of that, I don't recommend this system or any system sold by Ace Magic. If you own a system by Ace Magic and you'd like to know if your system is infected, then I recommend doing an offline virus scan. 
However, it probably would be a good idea to just back it up and completely reload the system. At least that's what I did on this one. However, if you want to see an offline virus scan, then the tool that you can use for that is Hiren's Boot CD. You can check out my video here that talks all about it. I don't discuss virus scans in that video, but I do show you how to download and install Hiren's Boot CD itself. As always, you guys have a great day.